Hello, hard hats, and welcome back to Construction Simulator, our second evening. Because the first evening we did the UFO job, which kind of a little haywire. But uh, with that being said, at the end of the last episode, I put both machines inside the workshop area in storage. And the repair time is in real time, not game time. So, uh, but that's okay. We don't need that equipment yet that I'm aware of. I went ahead and took the commercial buildings job. And uh, since we got some cash... And I do need some materials. I need to rent a tractor or a truck, as I would call it. And we need to rent a cargo trailer. Uh, so with some money, I've been actually looking at the store and kind of looking at the game for a little bit. Uh, just get used to some things. Uh, what we're going to do here is not... Uh, we're going to buy ourselves a truck right off. Now, I was looking at the trucks. If I can... Uh, let's see. No, uh, do, 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 flatbeds. There we go. Flatbeds with crane. No. I want the trucks with cranes. Where are they here? We're going to go buy ourselves a truck with a crane on it. If I can find them. Let's see. Cargo. Oh, I'm right on it. Right there. So we're going to get ourselves a Ken Kenworth with a crane on it. It is 125000 But I like the option with the crane on it. So when I move some cargo around, I don't need a second. I don't need our flatbed with the crane on it. I can just do it with this. Uh, what I'm finding out is that like a lot of material, kind of like what they did here, they're kind of like the same price. So if you're looking at buying like trucks, it doesn't matter what brand you buy. As long as it's a similar type of truck, the price is the same. We're going to go ahead here and buy ourselves this uh, Kenny with a crane on it for $125,000. let us go ahead and purchase this. Uh, yes, I do. Um, okay, so I was wondering if I was going to get a chance to like to paint it or something. Uh, apparently, that's not in the game yet. Uh, what we need now is we need a cargo trailer. I was looking at you know, maybe buying one, but, uh, I barely have enough money to actually buy this, but the problem is then I'm not going to have any cash to go ahead and, uh, buy material that we might need for the job. So we do need a cargo trailer. So we're going to lease one here, make sure I or rent one as they call it. Let's go ahead and rent it for 1200, uh, for the day. Yes, it's very early. So hopefully the day starts at midnight, ends at midnight. All right. So we are all set. It says rent a tractor, but uh, we bought ourselves one. There is our beautiful Kenny. And where is the trailer? The trailer is right behind us. Let's take a look at that butte. Now we got something to uh, move our material around. Uh, maybe when we finish the job, we'll go ahead and get ourselves a trailer of some sort. No, that's forward. That's backwards. Can we get the camera to change? So I was looking at a way to sleep through the night, and I don't see one, an option for that. All right, we got our cargo trailer. Move to... Move to mark location. All right, let's go ahead and... Oh, I know what I probably should do is light and turn those on here. And then I'm also going to get into first-person view, interior. Yeah, I can't look around, which kind of... Kind of sucks a little bit. Um, so I'm just going to pull out here and hopefully everything's good to go. Let's see. Fully repaired, fully fueled, as you would hope on a brand new vehicle. But we got ourselves a Kenny. I thought about getting a Mac Anthem, but <laughs> I did the Mac Anthem in ATS. I did the, got the Mac Anthem on No Man's Land for Farming Simulator. It's like, you know what? Let's go ahead and uh, get ourselves a Kenny. Oh, wow. We are going some distance here. 3,000 meters away. I don't know if that's uh, as the GPS goes or is that as the crow flies, meaning in a straight line. But either way, we'll go. Maybe we'll discover some things. Uh-oh. Uh, wait a minute. Remember the traffic violations not welcome here. Either drive sensibly or obey the traffic rules. In the systems, when you can uh, set whether traffic violations should be punished or not. Oh, interesting. Uh, are they on? I have no idea. So I thought we, I thought I was trying those things out, and I was like, "Oh, there's no violations for going through red lights." I guess if there's a cop around, uh, gameplay. I have no idea. Uh, traffic offenses, of offenses. Yes. Yeah, so that was a warning, I guess. <laughs> so <laughs> that's fine. It's all good. All right. So now I know I better obey the traffic laws. All right, so I'm going to drive on down to get the material that we need for this job. I don't know if it's all the material. It might be a couple trips on down here. Mm 
Not gonna lie, I turned the traffic of offenses off because uh, sitting at red lights in this game take forever. And I tried to see if I was actually getting fined. I actually went through about my third red light before I actually got fined $100 or 100 credits. So that's what you get, what you get fined for running through a red light. And there was no cop behind me. I went, uh, I tried to look to see if there was a cop around me. So I think the game just detects that you did do a traffic violation. But sitting at city traffic lights is taking way too long. And um, uh, that's not what I'm here for. I'm here to build things and not sit at a traffic light for not, not getting like a, a full minute. Just not doing anything. And we went a long ways down. This is a... Is it, okay, um, I was trying to read the bottom, but I missed it. I think they said this is the pre-fabrication wall area. I'm not sure where we're going here. Let's go to third person view. Pull the tractor into the marked area. Um, are we good? There we go. Uh, enter the prefabrication wall factory and buy the prefabricated walls. Uh, okay. I guess this is where, in skill points, where your character gets a little bit more fitness, where it comes in kind of handy from running around. Hello, haven't uh, you're all set over here? Is that your lovely uh, purple van? Kind of matches your shirt a little bit. Is that yours? All right, uh, I'll leave you alone. Just asking some questions. Uh, let's see, what do we need here? We'll purchase prefabricated walls. It says walls, but then again, it's showing me to buy one. Uh, yep, prefabricated wall factory here is suitable for, yeah, we, we pretty much probably got to figure it out. Uh, commercial building village, yes, we know that. Wait, what? Okay, so I'm buying it for the, so it's a prefab building, which I'm building. I thought it was showing me the job I'm doing. I'm like, yeah, that's the job I'm doing, but it's wanting to know what package I'm buying, I guess. Uh, did I, did I, did I buy it or not? I don't think so. It's still telling me to buy the prefabricated wall. Uh, let's select. Load package. Okay, so I didn't load it, I guess. All right, so it must be I bought it. Uh, so that's done. On the way back, stop by the building materials dealer and get the rest of the building materials. Um, oh wow, that uh, that's not that that's more than one, but uh, okay. Let's jump into our lovely little Kenny. I am going to go ahead back into first person because it's much better driving that way. I was probably supposed to back out of here, but this is the way I'm going. All right, so, yep, just uh, put the pedal down to the floor. Don't have to worry about traffic violations because... Yeah, I'm not going to sit, uh, drive for a half an hour just to get to the next location. I'm not going for that much realism. Anywho, I'll see you at the building's material dealer. And we'll purchase construction materials. I'll tell you one thing, it takes a while to drive around on this map. I'm kind of glad, uh, I didn't have to... No, you know what, I'm going to park right here. Because I don't know when the materials are going to show up. Takes a while to get around this map for sure. I think it took me like five minutes just to go down from there up to here. And that's where the traffic violations turned off. Traffic is kind of slow. Uh, anywho, I got to go buy two of these. Let's go ahead and add one, two. And... Is there a filter where I can do... Ah, filter for job. There, that makes it a lot easier. Um, let's go ahead and add that. And then... Check out delivery to yard. Auto loading, no delivery charge.
do I want to if I do auto loading no delivery charge it says no charge for auto loading so it's already on the truck so last time I didn't select auto loading but yeah it's right there on the truck that's sweet wish I knew that before well I probably you know if I read things uh, that would help uh, let's see here can I turn around in here somewhere this go around no it does not but there is a hammer here oh yeah we'll have to wait till the vehicle stop let's get the hammer I think this will be my sixth hammer all right see if I can turn this thing around here probably not the best place to do it Don't know how I'd, I'd be able to turn it around like that, but uh, don't ask questions. Oops, sorry about your car. It's all right. Man, this thing's gonna have to sit in my repair shop for a couple of days time I get done with it. As for the trailer, uh, I'm not sure what I'm stuck on here. Oh, I see. I'm stuck on the flag, apparently. Yep, stuck on the flag. Now I'm stuck in that flag. There we go. Now I'm out. <laughs> uh, let's get back in first person. And not being able to move the cam around when you're driving can be a little frustrating, but maybe as they add to the game, they'll come along at some point. Hold on in here. Not sure where I gotta drop that stuff off at. You can use a crane to place the construction material crane. Cranes may be set in a crane area. So you want me to actually get into the crane area? I mean, I can see where you want the material to drop off at. Uh, let's go to here, change mode. So, so far, half an hour of recording so far, and I'm 6% done with the job. <laughs> but we'll get there. We shall get there. So this is why I wanted the truck with the crane on it. I think it costs like an extra 40,000 credits for the crane. But it eliminates how many, uh, how many piece of machinery I need over here right now. And in the future, I'm sure I will need it for a lot more things. They want me to place the crane way over where, over there. I don't think I, that would have reached. Uh, 
All right, uh, deliver prefabricated walls. Where do those need to be dropped off at? I can see where the crane's got to go, but where's this got to go? Really would love to change the camera angle so I could see. Can I get out of the vehicle while I do it? I can. Okay, where does this stuff need to go? Is it meant to go here? Or did it need to go here? I think it needs to go there. see if I'm right. I mean, that's where the blue square was. But unfortunately, I couldn't reach that far. So let me go ahead and get the crane in position. Actually, I can just go ahead and... First off, I want to uncouple from that. Then I want to reset this. And then drive mode. So am I going to need a crane? Can I use my truck for all this? There, the walls are delivered. All right, so unpack construction material. Uh, not that stuff. What am I unpacking? This over here? Oh, that's me unpacking it. I'm like, why is the camera moving so much? That's me unpacking it. Gotcha. Uh, clear the marked area. Yeah, probably not going to have the, the Kenworth sitting right where we got to build the building. And then drive mode. Go ahead and get out of the vehicle. Oh, they already put the walls up for us. Uh, do I have to use the crane for this? Prefabricated wall element timber. Is 
If you don't have a suitable crane, you can rent or buy one from the vehicle dealer. All right. Um, ooh, these are expensive. Uh, can I go with the smallest one? Let's go ahead and rent the smallest one for, we'll just say 200, uh, 2,000 credits. And A to set up. The crane area is blocked. Yeah, uh, I guess I'm in it, right? All right, we got ourselves a LeBear crane. Uh, no, I don't want to dismantle. I just want to get into it. Oh, there we go. That's a big crane. So it's kind of funny they put up a few walls for us. Up higher, maybe? There we go. We'll get the closest one in first. Well, I wonder if I gotta turn, turn it around. Or is this gonna snap into place like the motel signs did? No, turn it around for me. Didn't have to even try. Okay, snaps in that easy. I'm fine with that. Yeah, I can see getting a uh, faster crane speed on my next skill point may not be a bad idea. Nope. Wrong wall. And... Now I'm probably going to have to go get some more walls. I think this is a two-story building I got to put down. All right, ceiling element concrete. Move the crane out of the way a little bit. Um, no, I think I'm using the crane for that. From the other material that we had. These cables would snap, I think, the way I'm doing it. need to watch the, I'm too busy watching the actual uh, crane itself instead of watching the white circles below it to see exactly where the crane is at the current time and I'm trying to 
line it up, and I shouldn't be doing that. I do like the leeway that they're giving us on placing these things down. But that crane doesn't take much for it to go further than you want it to. one at least for the ceiling all right clear the marked area What needs to be cleared? Is it my trailer or the crane? The crane now can be uh, dismantled again. This works in exactly the same way as setting up. Okay, so it's the crane that's in the way. Uh, dismantle. Okay, we don't need the tractor and cargo trailer combination anymore. You can return both of them via the vehicle fleet. Menu of your company, we now need something for concreting. Well, the trailer I don't need, the truck is mine, so I'm definitely gonna be keeping that. Uh, let's see, what time of day is it? Ooh, it is getting late. Let me go into... Oh, I got some experience and some cash. Uh, that helps out quite a bit. Uh, how do I get into... Nope, not reset. Machines. I mean, are, are we done with it? I'm going to say we are. Let me go ahead and return that. All right. I'm going to leave my vehicle here. Let's go to the map. And we'll go ahead and enter here. And can it do sorting by job? My machine class. My manufacturer, machine class, I guess. Uh, concrete pumps. Concrete mixers? Is that what I need? Transport concrete. Ready, right, concrete mixer. All right. Uh, yep, concrete mixer. And it didn't leave me off where I was. So now I gotta find the concrete mixers. Oh, we're by manufacturer. We want uh, by by machine class concrete pumps, concrete mixers. Uh, let's see. That one's for 27, 27, 27, 27, 27. They're all 27. So it doesn't matter which one I get. So let's go ahead and rent this one, I guess. Okay, and then let's back out of there. Sure. Just the right thing we need. Uh, now we need concrete. Remember the gravel plant? There's concrete there too. Right by the entrance is the concrete silo. Uh, let's go to machines. Whoops. And then I want to enter that. Interior view. I think this is just right on down the road. Wow, we're only 44% done with the job. Okay.
No traffic violations, remember, so I got that turned off. Or it just take me forever to travel around. Of course, they say it's not too far, but compared to where I had to go get the prefab building material, that was way down in the main part of the city. Now, the only thing I haven't done yet, I think it was 125000 to buy our second building. And I'm not really sure why I would want to do that right away, but I guess it's something I need to do in order to get to the next stage of our company. Because we're a Class S, and I think next stage is Class M or something like that. I just don't know why I, I'd want a second building other than I can store material somewhere. Hopefully I can do better than I did last time. Press and hold to start filling. All right, let me go. Maybe it wasn't far enough under. Hopefully I can get it all in here. All right, let me go back into 14,000. All right. <laughs> That's why I didn't buy any other equipment this morning because I said I need some money to build this thing. We do have a Mac, uh, sorry, not a Mac, <laughs> a Kenny. We do have a Kenny truck. Coming through with concrete, that's what you do when you have a concrete, concrete truck. Just drive right up the middle of the road. People will pull over if they have to. Yes, yeah, so right now I could be getting fined for going on the wrong side of the road, I guess. But as you can see how slow the traffic goes. I mean, if you want to, if you want to drive behind that all day long, be my guest, but not me. It's not what I'm here for. I'm here to get the jobs done. All right, I wonder when I leveled up. I, I don't know if I got a skill point to use or not. I may want to put another skill point into getting more money on the jobs completed. Because in the beginning stages, the money is going to be kind of helpful. And by the way, there is a setting I saw. Um, if you're not happy with the amount of money you bring in, you want to bring a little bit more, you can change the economy to easy. As far as I can see, it says easy and normal. And we are on normal. as one would swerve out of the way like that in a concrete truck, right? Of course, I'm recording this episode before the first episode of Con uh, Construction Simulator has gone out. If you know a way to advance time through the nighttime, although nighttime's not that bad, uh, just leave a comment below. And also, I should remind you, if you haven't bought the game yet and you're thinking about buying it, there is a link in the description below um, that uh, will bring you to uh, either the Steam page or for console uh, through there. And by going through my link, what that does is it tells the devs that uh, you bought it uh, going through my channel. I'm not getting any money from it. It just uh, gives me some rep with the devs. So maybe in the future, from future games, uh, I can get some keys as well. And maybe a chance to uh, hand out some keys also, some free games. For this task, we need a concrete pump. You know by now where to get the construction machine. I need a concrete pump. Okay. Let's get out of that vehicle there. Whoops. 
uh, deems. Yep, let me get all that weight. There we go. All right, so we need a concrete pump. Uh, by not by manufacturer. Let's do this. Concrete pumps. And... Uh, we'll get a red man truck. How about that? Is Are, are they all the same? Nope, some are cheaper. Some are cheaper because that's uh, that's only four thousand. These are forty four hundred. So a Scania or a DAF? Yeah, we'll go with the DAF. How about that? I think that's gonna be fine. Uh, extra rent and yes. I I hope it's not until midnight or is it for a full twenty four hours? I'm not sure. Uh, let's see, where's the concrete? That's my flatbed. Yep, that's what we want. I don't even remember how much I'm getting paid to do this job. But before I complete on it, I probably should go in and see if I got a skill point for leveling up. And I'll put it into uh, getting some more money when completing a job and task. Okay, how does this work? Uh, okay, so you want me in the zone. My Kenny might be in the way. Let's pull this forward here. Hopefully there's not actually a battery life on that thing. I left my lights on. There we go. Uh, switch to function mode and then up the lid via the context menu. somewhat set up here. Okay, it says enter the concrete mixer, which is over there. Approach the back of the concrete pump with a fill concrete mixer and start the concrete flow by the text menu. Nope. I I really wish Uh where am I backing up? Approach the back of the concrete pump. All right. See what they want me to do here. So I think they I know what they want me to do. Uh, I think that's what I'm supposed to do, and then. Concrete the ceiling.
Did I just see like a hammer over here? I did. Gotta grab him when you see him. Pulls completely. And now I gotta turn this one on. This one's empty. Uh, Alright, so I, do I have. Did I not turn this one on? The lid of the concrete pump must remain open during the filling. Is the lid open? I don't want to empty. It's only putting in a little bit at a time. Approach it back to the concrete pump with a filled concrete mixer. And start the concrete flow via the contact menu. The lid of the concrete pump must remain open during the filling of the process. Uh, okay, so wait a minute. Is this lid not open? Hopper open closed. Okay, maybe that was my problem. There we go. Now I'm getting the hang of it, maybe. <laughs> Alright, let's get into here. Let me get it. Uh, let's see, wait a minute. What is what key here? That does that, that does that. that and that. What does that one do? I think I just paid leasing fees for the day again. Alright, and uh, pouring <laughs> Takes a second to get used to. The thing is, I'm having an issue with is the camera rotation is changing on its own. And so trying to direct the concrete and everything. Let me get that full. Nope, wrong way. Just love how that camera just flips around really fast on you. Now the cameras need more work in this game for us. Uh, that's just my opinion though. If that matters anything? I don't know. Uh, great job. Now we just have to clear the construction site. Remember to return all rented construct construction ma machines. This will save unnecessary extra cost. I'm already past that point, honestly. Uh, but before I do, I want to go into profile skills. Did I get a point? I did. So during negotiations, you impress contractors with your oratory skills, earning a bonus for every job you complete. Extra 5%. Let's go ahead and do that right away. Um, clear the construction site. 
Am I done? Am I done with... Sealy construction... Construction site approval. Alright, so I think I'm done with everything. Vehicle fleet. All right, uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and return the crane. Yeah, we'll return the crane. Uh, yes. Return that. Oops. Yes. Concrete pump, 94%. Why can't I return that? Is it because it's, uh... It's on the site and I gotta remove it? So, we'll do that. Now, can I return that? Why does it say 94%? Well, we'll speak with Hap here and see what he has to say. Well, I completed the job. Great job. The L1 tower crane would be a good addition to your fleet. If you decide to buy a construction machine, you can purchase it for... Yeah, we know we can we can do that. Um, all right, so now can I, re I return that? Now I can return it. Interesting. And yes. Not too bad. I built myself a souvenir shop, but not myself, but someone. Uh, yep, my truck needs to go back to the shop. Probably needs to get repaired and taken care of. Three o'clock in the morning. Uh, but let's see what could be next on the list for jobs. Parking lot. Estimated earnings, 100,000 credits. Four stages to do that. Uh, but if I go into company upgrade levels. So I own three construction machines. Buy company premises two. An expansion contract. Uh, I don't know what expansion contract is. But it's 150,000 to buy the additional. Wait, how much money do I got? Oh, I don't want to do that because I'll leave me with just 17 grand. That's not enough. Um, yeah, the truck put me out some some cash, but that's fine. Uh, but yeah, why they got to leave that as part of the company expansion? I don't know. An expansion contract. I don't know what that means. Expansion contract. I got I got to do expansion con. Is it is it complete the expansion contract from the opening campaign? To complete level S and unlock the... So, I think that's do the three jobs, right? So, it would be... Show contract. Yeah, so I think this is the third contract I gotta do, which is a parking lot, which we'll get into in the next episode. But I will go ahead and accept the contract bingo bango and we're going to be renting a lot of machines to do paving it looks like so my Kenny is done for sure uh, I can see oh they moved my Kenny over there was a parking lot here but I guess uh, maybe I marked it up from 
building this material. So, yep, we'll be doing that next episode. Souvenir shop is built. And maybe we'll upgrade our, our buildings here and move to a Class M company. Possibly. Who knows? But anyways, that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. And I'll catch you again right here in Construction Simulator. But until then, have a good one.